Today we're talking all about one of the most underrated weapons in your 3D printing arsenal, a lightsaber. I wish, but today we're actually talking about rotary tools. These little guys have saved me more than I can count. From sanding off supports to polishing minis, this is like the Swiss Army knife for makers. I'm going to show you the best bits, some of my favorite tricks, show you why this belongs on every workbench. So what is a rotary tool? So if you're not familiar with rotary tools, a rotary tool is basically a high-speed motor in your hand. Supports can leave ugly scars. Layer lines sometimes catch the light, and rough edges can make things fit together poorly. A rotary tool could fix many of those problems in minutes. So what can you do with a rotary tool? You can remove stubborn supports that sometimes your nippers can't get. You can also slightly sand down layer lines without breaking a sweat. And it also helps polish the surface so you get them ready to paint or for resin coating. And you could even carve or engrave details or dates of a project. So yes, you could add a custom touch by hand. Now here are some of the different bits you could use. Sanding drums. Sanding drums are your bread and butter, great for PLA, patchy edges, and smoothing layer lines. Grinding stones are great for tougher filament, like ABS, nylon, or CF blends. Cut-off wheels are great if you made a mistake or you need to trim a part off. These oftentimes can help save your print. Wire brushes are good for helping clean up metal or wood-filled filaments. Polish wheels are great. You could add a little polishing compound, and you got a shine that starts helping look pro. And engraving bits are great. Like, for instance, if you want to make a custom dice tower with your initials in it, boom, there you go. Now you don't need super expensive rotary tools or corded rotary tools anymore like this Dremel. Now you get portable rotary tools like the Fantec F2 Master, which actually comes with a ton of bits. Hold on, let's just get this out. And you see right there, even the bit, even the bit part rotates. Pretty cool for a rotary tool. The cordless tools are good for small prints and quick cleanups. Corded ones pack more power for longer sessions. I would recommend grabbing this Fantic F2 Master. They work really well for such a good price, and the fact that it's cordless makes it really portable anywhere you're working. Okay, enough talk. Let's get to cleaning up my life-size Hobbit. See how fast this cleans up? A couple of passes and it's smooth, ready for primer in minutes instead of an hour of hand sanding. But remember, when you're using any rotary tool, you want to make sure you're using safety gear. Always wear safety goggles because you are shaving off materials and you never know if a part of a bit breaks away. And if you're sanding things, you want to make sure you wear a respirator because filament dust is not good for your lungs. And remember, don't max out the speed on your rotary tools because it's filament and PLA and other materials do melt at a certain point. Start slow and adjust as you go. Remember to also let the tool do the work. Don't push. Use fresh sanding drums. Dull ones just burn plastic. Keep a set of clean bits just for your filament. Metal will dull them fast. So whether you're cleaning up minis, making cosplay armor, or just want your projects to look pro, a rotary tool is a must have for your maker toolkit. Once you start using one, you'll wonder how you ever did without it. It's sort of like Jedi's without a lightsaber. If this video gave you some great ideas for your 3D printing, make sure to hit the like button. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.